The second of our Kihon Katas is called Knockdown. I'll demonstrate first quite slowly and then we'll discuss each movement individually. Very much like Shadow Boxer, the first move, three movements are the same. Hips together, right, grip, toes out, heels out, rip. Fingers to the face, back into our, our fighting stance. Jab, cross, hook, okay? Hopefully, my shots have been on target and my hook has knocked down. My hook has come in here and finished the job or taken them off his feet. From here, I'm going to deal with something coming from behind. I'm going to turn into it and block. The block is just this. It's not quite Ageuke, it's not quite Uchiuke. It's just turning this way. So as I've turned, block. Now I'm going to grab, face me. Turn to block. Now I'm going to grab with this hand. This hand now will come back to what we call our Soto Uke position. And as I pull this hand, I slide my back foot around and I'm going to pull with this hand and drive this hand down. As if this hand has grabbed the wrist, this is in the elbow. There's my takedown. And I follow through with Gidan Burai. And all that is is to wind them to the recovery position directly under my feet. So back to the start. From here, from here now, I'm going to turn to face this way. And as I do so, I'm going to load all my weight into the back leg, into this Nekoashi Dutch cat stance position with Age Uke, rising block. Okay? So cat stance, my weight is all in the back leg, knee is bent. So I've gone to here. From here, I'm going to retract back. This hand has pulled in, this hand has come up, and the cat stance, you should be able to do this with the lead foot without any loss of balance. From here, front kick off the lead foot. Now, after the front kick, foot touches very gently, and then the weight transfers into this leg as I fire a reverse punch to solar plexus level, this high. That's there, and then back to this stance. Okay? Now, we're looking at high jab, slight movement of the uh, front foot, and then a low uppercut into the spleen, followed by another high jab, followed by a high round kick. And my body's going to rotate face this way. Ball of the foot, you must turn on the ball of the foot for this movement. Okay, so it's no good turning on the heel, we'll lose balance. Um, so that was my round kick. From here now, I've got the right foot in front. Now I'm going to go jab, cross, reach around and grab the back of the head, drive the knee strike up, so my hands come down and my knee comes up. Now I'm going to turn this foot so that I turn 90 degrees and drop down to the floor. From here, right knee drops, up, left knee drops, okay? This foot's gonna stay where it is, the other foot's gonna come up. As it does, I keep my hips low, and I wanna sit down into this sumo stance here. Bum, same like as my 
as my knees. Hands go outside the legs, then they come back in, back to the hands together, turn some fingers face up, hands come up, inside the face, fingers grip, pull all the way down. Left hand is in front, so left hand goes under, right hand comes to here, left hand to here, left hand rotates around as the right pulls back. From there, left is going to pull back, the right hand is going to spear forward like so. Now I'm going to move feet together, foot out, sitting down into that stance, hands go out, back in, back some hands together, fingers up, grab, down, right hand on the outside now, grab, strike, from here the left foot's coming up to the right, smash, right fist into left open palm, hands turn down, heels together, hands by your sides, ring. That's our second um, Kion Kata, that's knockdown.